Hey there, fellows. Right, you guys ready for a new experiment? So here's what I'm looking to do. Right here I've got myself a set of rims, shut in some tires. They look pretty nice, don't they? These are some three-piece wheels, made by Wald. They're actually a great piece of kit. Anyway, considering that you can take these apart, we thought we could remove this middle part right here and put something else in there instead. So why not replace these spokes with some transparent plexiglass, which you will be able to see right through. Maybe even do a few more mods to get an insane look happening. I say we try it out and, uh, well, see what comes out of all of this. Let's do this. How to make a transparent wheel from plexiglass. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Here we go. I told you we should let the air out. But you're like, no. Check this out, guys. We've just taken delivery of some plexiglass cut out to size. Now we just have to unpack it. Let's measure this up. We've got the mounting points right here. They've already made five holes for the studs. We're not going to be making a center bore, since we'll mount the wheel on a spacer, to keep the offset at least uh, somewhat similar to stock. We place it like so. Dude, take it easy. What do we got? Looks like somebody screwed up. I told you we should have shaved off another mill. You did the measurements. Oh yeah, you're actually right. This is unfortunate. It's right up on the edge, check that out. It's just way too accurate. We really should have... We should have left a bit of clearance. Okay, so here's the situation. We've measured it all down to the millimeter. But we forgot about the facets. But no need to worry. Since we've got this nifty device, which we'll use to remove excess material. So this here is basically... I'm using a milling cutter with a support bearing. Okay, time for us to hack away. And once we're done, we'll do another test fit. So I'm currently adjusting the base to get two stop points going. After that we adjust the recess depth. We literally need to remove... Uh, I'd say about one mil across the board. But that's not the only problem we're facing. The five millimeter groove depth that we specified in the diagram... Okay, so I don't know what sort of precision CNC machine they were using, but we're looking at a depth fluctuating between 6.5 and 7.5 mil. And a one mil discrepancy is quite a lot, especially when we mount this to the rim. Given its diameter, it's gonna start doing a sort of figure eight. So, as a result, we need to fix the issue on this CNC machined piece by hand. Right? Didn't I tell you we should have put that in the diagram? Though this is my screw up as much as it is anybody else's, that we didn't specify the tolerances. Okay, so three tenths and that's it. Then we measure it and if it's more than that, we bring it to them and demand that they redo it. Sure. Okay, time to fix this mess. We need to remove five tenths on this side. Place the thing and let's get started. Fantastic! Now we get to the fun part.
Okay, looks like we're done drilling. We've screwed the plexiglass on, trimmed it down, and this is what we're looking at. Now we just remove this protective film. And on this side as well. Gotta remove that too. You can see right through. This is a pretty nice looking wheel. With a transparent centerpiece. Right. When do we inflate these? After putting them on the car? Check out what we've got here. We've installed the wheels with their transparent centerpieces, and they've totally transformed the look of the car. It looks awesome. What's most interesting is that when we were mounting the wheel, after installing the plexiglass centerpiece, the wheel is now super light, like what you find on a sports car. So it's probably a bit of a stretch to say that. Now we just have to drive around a bit. It's alive! What's up? Can you check the wheel? Does it look good? Is it holding up? Good. What's up? Don't turn the steering wheel. Gotcha. How do I drive it out? Anyway, so... We're looking at an interesting development here. We slightly messed up with the wheel sizes and... Uh, I can't turn the steering wheel. Since the tire is almost rubbing against that new bumper we put in. I guess we're gonna have to drive straight then, without moving the steering wheel. Let's do this. Oi! Oi! Oh my! So far, so good. No issues to report. This is pretty nice. Okay, what's going on? I guess that's just the cold motor doing its thing. Fantastic. How far have we driven anyway? Damn. It would have been nice to drive around town. But who knows how long they're gonna last. Parking it at a car show would be much more appropriate. Now that would be awesome. You wouldn't be able to keep the car nuts away from it. 100%. By the way, when's the nearest car show? Alright guys, here's the deal. We're looking okay. I took the car out, even if only briefly, since we don't know how durable these rims are, how much load they can handle, though this plexiglass is 20 mil thick, which is quite substantial and probably quite sturdy. 
Though these wheels definitely look the business, I'd say this experiment has been a massive success. I mean, just look at these wheels. And the car even drives, albeit not that fast. And not too far, but it does move. You can swap the wheels at a car show, relocate the vehicle. So yeah, we did well here. Okay, if you guys liked what you saw, show us some love and give us a thumbs up. We might even make another pair, throw them onto a car, and head out to do a bit of testing to see how all of this holds up. Anyway, so if we get enough likes, we'll make another pair of these wheels. But for now, that's all I have for you. So watch us, subscribe, leave us some comments and suggestions. Okay, catch you later.